Welcome to another edition of All Octaves with me, Val Klein Hands. The rumors are true. They really are here, the rumors themselves. I'm so stoked to have them. Thank you guys for being here. Hey. Thanks for having yes. us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> so where are you? Are you back in Iowa? We are. Yeah. Cool. And I know you're a three-piece now. Was it always that way for the band? No. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately no. Oh, um, what's, what's the we story? Were a four piece. Um, we were a four piece when we started out. Went through a couple of members, and we got a guitar player. Unfortunately, we did not work out. Well, mm -hmm. actually, did for a while. Fortunately, we did not work out <laughs> and realized that our three piece was kind of the way for us. But ever since we've gone to a three piece, everything's just been really bitching and. Groups. We let him go in right in the middle of the pandemic, 2020. Oh, wow. Almost, yeah, so going on three years now. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, and I can't believe it's even been that long. It just feels like that was yesterday almost still. But, oh, <laughs> <right>. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what made you decide to continue on as a three piece and just say, screw it, let's keep going? Um, we were just kind of, we were looking for other guitar players and we were just like, it, nothing seemed to be working out for us. So we're like, yeah. you know what, fuck it. Let's just try to we're do like, this ourselves. And we're like, damn, this sounds good. Every, yeah. Well, was, Carly already plays guitar. So. I know. It was kind of like, <laughs> why even bother adding in another when we can do this as a three piece? Yeah. And then get along and there's no drama and we're just right. focused on, we're focused on the music and we're focused on the shows. <laughs> Much better. Right introducing a whole new person and getting to know them it's it's hard right yeah <clears throat> for, for anybody that doesn't know who you are you've described yourselves before as a rock and roll band that flirts with punk so was it a conscious choice to make the rumors a rock and roll band now we're a punk band that flirts with rock yeah now we're a punk band that flirts with rock yeah. okay <laughs> so was it always rock or a variation of it was that always the intent yes cool and so what were what was your initiation into rock music like do you remember some of the first influences that you gravitated toward um for me i remember when i was a little girl my mom would be cleaning the house and whatnot and i remember her playing joan jet on mm -hmm. the stereo and like the Eurythmics and Stevie Nicks and things like that. But it was for me after I had seen Joan Jett, I was like, yeah, that's the shit that I got to do. Right. How about you, Daniel? <laughs> I think it was for me, uh, my brother and me jamming out to like Rat and Motley Crue cassette tapes <laughs> <laughs> in our <Nice>. bedroom <laughs> or in his car, you know, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. I grew up on a lot of Bosnian music, so when I came into my teenage years, I found everything. <laughs> like, oh, because my parents didn't grow up listening to that stuff, you know. So yeah. as a teenager, I was, you know, once I fell in love with the music, I wanted to play music. Yeah. What was that a culture shock for you when you first heard American stuff? Were you just like, "Whoa, this is something I've never heard before." It's like, it was always around, but I just never really, like, I never really listened until I became older. And then I was like, oh, I can choose my own music now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the best part of being an adult. We can choose our own music. I like that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Carly, it makes total sense that, you know, Joan Jett is one of your icons. You're a strong female lead. We love what you do. We love the grit to your voice. Were you someone that studied music, worked on your voice to get it to sound the way it does, or the, or is it natural? Thank you, first of all. Um, <laughs> I guess, I mean, I took guitar lessons for a little bit when I was younger. I never took any vocal lessons. Basically, I just put on Betty Blowtorch and started yelling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Until my vocal cords didn't hurt anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So we put the vocal cords through yelling class and then we just hope it's tucked. Yes. Right. <laughs> I, I probably need some vocal lessons so I don't ruin everything, but you know, that's just what I do. 
<laughs> well, whatever you're doing is working. I had a blast <laughs> looking at your reels and your pics on Instagram too. You all definitely have a lot of fun on the road and fill even the most mundane moments with just with energy. I can see it. What do you think are the keys to having a fun, chill environment on the road? Got to fart a lot. <laughs> Got to fart a lot. <laughs> it breaks the tension. <laughs> The van can never smell good. We're just, we're just, we're just carefree. <laughs> we just find everything amusing and just be ourselves. Oh yeah. We don't care about being cool. Right? <laughs> we just have a good time. We just obviously. have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's rare to find somebody that's on that same level. Some people take it way too seriously. Some people are almost too relaxed. You guys have found your rhythm, you found what works for you. What do you think is the secret to that? Just being together for some time now? Probably. Yeah. Definitely. You build friendship over time. Right. We're like siblings yeah. at this point. Yeah. <laughs> We're older than Daniel though. <laughs> yeah, they're old, they're both older than me. Yeah. He's our little guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the little brother. <laughs> Wow. I mean, if you're going to be protected by older siblings, they're the ones that you want to be protected by. Yes. <laughs> so I was Speaking watching. Of funny the... stuff. Have you, have you seen a? Oops. You go. No, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. no the... please tell have me. You seen a... the... Have you seen the studio videos or behind the <laughs> behind the scenes? Yeah, In little the the... little clips. Yeah. Yeah. The I didn't know if you saw the new one today. <laughs> no, 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 not the one from today just yet, but I, in general, they all look like you're just having a lot of fun. <laughs> it's been a good time. Yeah. Well, why do we need to see the one that was out today? What was the fun about that one? Oh, we're just doing like video, like making of the new album from the recording studio. So oh, we've only, we've only posted album a couple of them so far. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so there is new music on the way. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how long has that been in the works for? Oh, God. Well, technically, I don't know. When did we? Well, the last album last. we put out was, well, 2020? Yeah. Right? yeah. So three years. Yeah. <laughs> we, we recorded some of the new songs last year, but um, we had a lot of shows. Yeah. Making up for a time mm. with like, up for 2020 yeah being canceled left and right so we were like it's time to get in the studio and get yeah. these songs out there we've been recording yeah. like two songs at a time kind of separate Good. weekends cool so when do you think maybe we might be able to look forward to some stuff coming out later this year next year well we'll have a single and music video coming somewhat soon cool yeah the whole album hopefully by the end of the or by the fall is our goal nice all right we'll definitely keep looking for it what are some of the themes or some of the cool catchy parts of it that we should look for <laughs> uh, they're all inside jokes right? they're all inside jokes <laughs> yeah they are you just gotta keep an eye out on our social media and then when you hear the album you'll go oh uh Okay, so it makes sense. Okay, got it. <laughs> well, speaking like of videos. It, oh, I would like to call it somewhat of a women's empowerment album. Yes. You know, oh. like it's strong women. Yes, it's <laughs> just like dealing with the fucking bullshit we have to deal with on the daily, you know, as a woman. Mm. And we write yeah. about it. And it's just like get back at songs, like calling people out songs that need to be fucking called out. Yeah, for real. <laughs> How often do you deal with the name <laughs> three songs guy? Because I come across that guy sometimes too, just for wearing a shirt. Oh, God. The, who? the name, what? Name three songs. You know, when you're wearing a shirt and they're like, name three songs. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, every now and again, I, I bartend um, mm -hmm. and I get these people come in and they're like, well, I'm a guitar player. Did you know that Tom Petty used to play in a band called Mud Crutch? Before they sound just like Tom what? Petty. Like, you were yeah. probably you were probably too young, to me, right? I'm like, Hi. well, music's history, my guy. Hey, I'm a drummer. Oh. That's like saying, you sh "How do you know World War II? You 
<laughs> I played Pearl drums Harbor. in this band this one time. <laughs> in, this, in this band one time. I once I was, shared a bathroom with Tommy Lee, but he wasn't my friend, but he was in the same venue, though. Like <laughs> we were it's, 15 feet apart. <laughs> we were, it's always that story too. And it's always that one guy. And you know that's like the highlight of his life and nothing else interesting is going on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I was watching some videos that you've got up on YouTube right now, and I was nodding my head to watch your love, and I'm reading the caption and it said official music video for the rumors i want your love want your drugs from the album hot bang also featured in the august 2017 issue of classic rock magazine what would that be? because that is a yeah. huge honor <laughs> they just reached out to us out of, didn't they just email us out of nowhere one day yeah and said hey yeah. would you want to include this song on on, on a compilation cd we're like, mm, so like let me think about it up and, up and coming <laughs> up and coming artist i can't believe it's been that long ago wow. i know that was i still have it yeah yeah i was just like again you guys are like the kings of the casual mention i'm learning it's like just casually in the caption by the way this is the one that was included in a big magazine you probably have read before and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> we were on the same cd as alice cooper right All badass and jimmy that. page was on the cover <clears throat> wow yeah that's an <laughs> did you all I mean, did you all get copies and like save it and treasure it somewhere? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. I marched my happy ass to Barnes and Noble to find it. Yeah. <laughs> God, that was when you could still find a Barnes and Noble. I feel like those places are dying, unfortunately. I want I wish there were more around. They have Starbucks in them. <laughs> yeah, I know. A non-Starbucks. I feel like it's very not real. Did you guys know? I saw this on Facebook the other day. If you go to Starbucks, if you have like Daniel, you could do this because you just get a black coffee. You can go up and get a free refill. What? No. Not really? Yeah. I saw some guy on the internet talking about it, and all these people were like, Yeah, I always need true. two. So I'm gonna go down the first one quick and then run back in. Yes. But... Wow. Oh my god. That's one of those Reddit rabbit holes <laughs> that I would fall down at two in the morning. And that would be like what? like you can order this we spend a lot of money at starbucks when we're on tour <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what are some of the other favorite tour spots because i know at least around here i'm in minnesota it's quick trip for us and you've got some quick trips in iowa too i'm sure i think right yeah quick quick, yeah. quick star oh uh, okay pantera Pantera bread. Pantera bread. Yeah. yeah, that's a better name for it anyway. I, I don't know why they didn't just a gift it. card in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they didn't just change the name. That's a better name. They should have just went with Pantera. Right? Bread. Considering all these rock bands stop there, like might as well. Why not? <laughs> like I can't imagine Phil yeah. Anselmo just rolling up in there and being like, "Let me get a mac and cheese with the French bread half cut." Like I can't picture. <laughs> I own this place. <laughs> <laughs> so, where is the future of the rumors headed? What are we looking forward to? I mean, we mentioned some new music, maybe a tour. What's what does it look like ahead? The spring tour. Yeah. There's a lot of fun tours coming. We got the spring yeah. tour coming up. Week and a half tour heading out east and back. Cool. I think I saw then, on that list that Pittsburgh's on one of your stops. And I'm like, yes, because I'm from Pittsburgh. And I'm like, they need to know about you guys, too. So I'll put the word yes. out. Is that the Hard Rock Cafe? I think? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I no, it is. Watch. And I mean, um, that guy posts it all. I mean, let's just say that some of us don't have passports, a.k.a. me. And we got, I have to get one. Because <laughs> <laughs> next, next year is going to be fun. <laughs> well so maybe like more i don't know canadian stops or something for example once you get wow, the passport maybe a little it. little further <laughs> oh wow across the pond <laughs> nice well then i'd be jealous because i've never done that before i've only been to canada like that's the only other country i've visited in the world other than our own but <laughs> carly's not allowed in canada i can't go there <laughs> really <laughs> Here you are. why Here you are. <laughs> Oh, that's oh! I've heard that before. That they're really weird about that. Yes, yeah. but apparently they're strict about it here. Like people from Canada that have OWIs and shit, they can't come here for ten years. So 
Oh my god. Okay. Well, so someday oh, you might 2031. be 2031. To... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> The Canada tour, the Rumors Canada tour, <laughs> only exclusively in Canada, all provinces included. Yes. <laughs> Come see Daniel's 29th birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> right at the Tim Hortons in Toronto. It'll be there, eh? <laughs> yeah, really. Michael Sarah better fucking show up. Right. Oh. <laughs> uh, he's cool. I wish he did more movies. I don't know what's going on with him lately. I feel like he's just been kind of quiet. Michael Sarah. Super bad part two, man. I know. Are they? I want that. I wish. Oh, okay. You got me all excited here. <laughs> no, we both were like, what? What does we're like, what did Carly know that we don't know? Hold on. I want to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a fibber. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for chatting with me. And I will definitely chat again. Yes. <laughs>